Bro. So that's his oh ex-girlfriend. Oh, oh my life, I'm not. Oh my life, I'm not. One time. Don't be saying, bro. Come time. on. Don't I'm be not saying that. Nothing. I'm just saying. Bro, I'm, I'm not a cheater. One time. Bro. That's. I'm not a cheater, bro. I'm too ugly to cheat. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why you would. <laughs> ugly gang, let's go. I don't cheat. Look, let me show you. On my life, let me show you, bro. I can show the chat. I don't care. The chat know who that girl fuck with, bro. It don't matter, bro. Bro, it wasn't like that, though. I started streaming so I could, like, do collabs with guys and shit, and, like, maybe that's what I should do. Why All my life, it was nothing like that, bro. I, I don't like, know. This is the first time I've seen her or heard Look, let me show you, bro. Yeah. Let me show you. Uh, maybe take over your I'm not gonna lie, man. I'm a, a bit jaded here. Man, I'm staying far away from <laughs> Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uh, it's okay. I'll give my objective opinion then. So yeah, I made a joke about this with uh, Noble actually. I said Jideon's next, but don't quote me on that. I'm just saying. Anyhow, this was like the most I want to say crazy part is that she for a long time has been cheating on him basically in a way to be, be the possible at a massage parlor. But let's play the actual clip from Cuff himself. He can explain it. Well, better before, than us. real quick, uh, before we even go into that clip, you guys can already see some fuck ups here, right? Like he's over here, like oh no, I don't cheat whatever he's like qualifying himself like to her accusations or whatever like he's talking to her as an equal look man okay before i go on a rant let's play the next <laughs> clip whatever I'm about to get us kicked off youtube already no let me Listen. just chill hey, no but let's i, I get what you're saying because you're like i don't care yeah like like what the hell is going on here like why are you over here explaining yourself to her yeah why um so this is him responding to her cheating on him i believe and I'm not gonna lie, I don't know if this is real or not, but if it's real, it's kind of crazy. And so, she put this out, right? Yeah, she, she leaked this audio. I'll play from the very beginning. But apparently this is him, like, uh, I guess complaining. All right. This is after you fucked up. Hey, bro, you really want a nigga, bro? What are you doing, bro? <laughs> bro, you really want to answer the phone, bro? Bro, you, bro, I'm fucking hate you, bro. You here, bro. God, don't worry about what I do, bro. God. So whether that's real or not, I think the the takeaway is this, guys. Uh, and I've said this before on 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 podcasts. Um, when men get involved with, right, we love them a lot more than they love us. And before people get angry at me and say that I'm a misogynist for saying this, let me explain what I mean by this. So, misogyny. Men, when they deal with women, have to invest more in the beginning really of the relationship yeah right because as a man you must bring value to even get the attention of said woman right now after you guys are together for a bit and you know there's some time and you have some um investment there then she's going to start to invest more but the reality is most of the time up front for mo a majority of men a staggered majority of men is they have to bring value up front to get the girl in the first place right and if you're someone like Cuffum who even acknowledges his sexual market value disparity when it comes to looks he even acknowledges this he understands that um girls that he pulls he's probably gonna have to pull off his personality charm social status etc and there's nothing wrong with that right like you know i'm not gonna knock a guy for using the tools that he's dealt like do mm -hmm. what you got to do yeah um but I say all that to say, typically when men fall in love with women, they're more invested in the relationship than women are. This is why men have a much harder time uh, w with breakups than women do. Significantly harder. And not only do they have a harder time with it, they don't initiate breakups as much as women do. Women overwhelmingly initiate the breakups and are able to get over relationships faster than men for a multitude of different reasons that deal with their biology. Well, right? One of them, which I talked about this earlier with Zerka, shout out to him, is that Women, right, since the beginning of time, have had to always acquiesce to the strongest men around them. And what I mean by that is, right, things weren't always as civilized and nice with electricity and fast internet like we enjoy now. Things used to be really raw and tough back in the day, guys. I'm talking wars all the time, constant human conflict, Conquerors. fighting over resources, etc. Yeah. So in these times of um, non-stabilization where... There's constant wars and fights and everything else going on, right? Since man has been around, it's been a constant thing in man, especially in older times. Um, women have had to basically to learn how to adapt to the men that come in because what ends up happening is they cut the our invading army comes in, they kill the men, they, fill, they kill the fighting age boys, and then they go ahead and take the women and then the resources, etc. So women had to learn over thousands upon thousands of human years that in order for us to survive, we need to learn how to deal with the strongest men. So are easier it are much more cold-blooded when it comes to getting rid of men I mean, i'm sure all of you guys have been here where you've been in a relationship with a girl you really liked her and she just 
turned it off and broke up with you, right? Or uh, she got over a relationship much faster than than you did, or she she just went cold all of a sudden. And women are able to do that because they have to be cutthroat like that because for many years. They would lose their fucking husbands, lose their counterparts, and then they had to learn how to deal with the new fucking guy. This is why women look for men that are strong and tall so strongly. Like, how many girls have you met? Oh, I don't date men that are six feet tall, uh, that, are, uh, that aren't at least six feet tall. And they'll really stick on that. Or I, don't, I, I need a guy that's in shape. Or I need a guy that's, like, big and intimidating. Why do you think they have these primitive needs? They need it because they want a guy that can protect them so they don't have to fucking acquiesce to someone stronger. Okay, if you look at female biology and what they're attracted to, it's all based on survival. Okay, women look at men from a survival value standpoint. Men look at women from a replication value standpoint, etc. Man, a woman wants a man that can take care of her and protect her. That's why they look for resources, height, strength, competence, etc. Survival skills, and then men look for replication value. Is she attractive? Is she healthy? Is she young? Is she fertile? Can I have children with her? We look for completely different things. So since we look for completely different things, we're going to be open and okay with ending relationships on different types of parameters. So for women, once they no longer see that survival value in you, boom, you're fucking done. They're going to move on to the next fucking guy. Okay, and they're able to do that quickly because they've been programmed for thousands of fucking years to do this. Okay, so guys like him, right? He obviously is invested and he's crying. Whether it's real or not, the, the take home is this men fall in love much harder than women do. W point, by the way. Just out your point as well, I want to add in that women will find a partner. To replace you even before it even ends. Yes. And what's happening here is that like they break up with you before you even know it. With social media, there's so much access. She has at least, I want to say this is at least five to ten dudes that are willing to say, you know what, I'll be your friend and hang around until you you become single. Or they might just be like in the in the background watching stories, like in a post, but you don't even know that they're there waiting for you to fuck up. Granted though, like you said before, the moment you become no longer that financial, I want to say provider for her, or even like securities provider you become either replaceable or even like for example weak and if she's just weak she's gonna just dis disrespect you talk talk bad about you even hit you and then it's too late but at that point you're like oh i can fix it if i just cry a little bit more or give her a little bit more you can't solve it when it's ended she already made, made up her mind is over so what you're saying and, is and just correct. oh god and the other thing yeah. too i want to bring to the audience's attention breaking down that clip if you guys notice he's over here qualifying to her like you know trying to Oh, no, I'm not, blah, 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 all that other shit. Guys, never do that. And the reason why I say never do that is because that actually lowers your survival value. Wait, hold on, man. What are you talking about, bro? This is a explain. When you're over here qualifying to a woman and, qu and, and um, answering to her, right, and you're over here, like, you know, letting her control the frame like that, what that effectively demonstrates is that you're not sure of yourself, you don't know where you stand, and you're fucking weak. And if she could sit there and bitch you out and make you qualify to her and answer her questions and control the frame, what's going to happen when the capable old man comes around? And that's the fucking big point that you guys need to understand. I don't tell you guys this shit just so I can sit here and listen to the sound of my voice and we're going to go ahead and put and all this other bullshit. No, I'm doing this shit for your fucking girlfriend that you're going to have in the future. She's going to thank me for teaching you how to be this way. You don't sit there and qualify to women and answer their fucking questions let them control the frame because guess what? You lower your inst your um your you lower her view of you from a survival standpoint because if you have to sit there and qualify to her and answer to her, guess who's in the leadership role? Her. And guess what happens if someone breaks into the house? She's going to be in the leadership role because she still has this in my mind. So like, he can't even stand up to me. How's he going to stand up to a fucking invader? And then you're a fucking bitch and she looks for a stronger man. This is why you don't qualify or answer to women because when you do that, you lower your survival value. That's what it comes down to, and that's what women look for, man. They look for survival value. Your looks, your height, your strength, your competence, your income, your social status, all of this comes into survival value. You understand, guys? Once you get this through your fucking heads, you will never, ever, ever let a woman control the frame. You will never, ever, ever let a woman be a leader in your relationship. You will understand that the burden of performance on um, being the leader in Creating that survival value is on fucking you. And if you ever let that shit go down, guess what happens? They look for another guy that has more survival value than you. Don DeMarco. Literally. Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going with right now. These fucking guys. Don Don DeMarco. DeMarco. I hope a couple of them is watching this shit. This isn't even me trying to talk shit or whatever. He's a young guy. He's probably in his early 20s or whatever. Like, 
Young guys are just not going to know this shit. This is going to take years, decades of getting broken up with, Experience. getting your heart broken, yeah. getting fucking uh, rejected, whatever it may be. Like, this is coming from fucking experience, guys. Like, it takes you a while to learn this shit. I'm an old ass man. I'm 34. So, like... Dan, are you old? I am. Well, what the fuck are you talking about? You're, you're I'm 31. Right? Yeah, but, bro... <laughs> how you look older than me, though, nigga? Well, you're not black. You're Arabic. Anyhow... Uh, is it the phrase, uh, <laughs> black don't crack? 